my Lord. Sit thou on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in thy midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness. From the womb of the morning thou hast to do of thy youth. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. Let me see. But this morning we've... Thinking the Lord yesterday, I was going up the road and I was thinking, which I'd already read this, and the Lord was dealing with me on this chapter, and uh, He's telling me how important the church is. That's signs. Uh -huh. The church is signs. And if you read, glory, hallelujah, fill the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and if you read, it says, The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Yes. That's us. Right. That's the church, the rod of his strength. You know what a rod is? Right. It is to control or govern someone or something. Right. That's the rod shall come out of this Zion. That, that's the church. We're, we're important. The church is important in what we do. Everything that we do, we're important. Man. To be there. I was thinking the other day, I said, Lord, it just, it just seems like I said, Lord, I want some babies to come in. I guess mothers, they've been talking about babies and this and that and had to, my wife wish she had more and this and that, and I guess there's a hunger to a point. And, and I was thinking the other day, the Lord said, well, it seems like, you know, I know we still got young ones in here, but it seems like people's, you know, starting to step out more on their own. And they got their own things, I guess, inside they're dealing with that they ain't a spreading out to you the, the, for, or calling out for help for. And I said, Lord, I have a desire for babies. I don't know what that means, but I said, Lord, I want to, somebody to call and say, hey, I got a question. I miss that. Hey, I got something I need. I, I, I miss it. Why? I, I, I don't know. I guess it, uh, that's a natural affection. Or, the church has got it still yet. Uh -huh. The true church has got it still yet. And you, and you just have a hunger, but he was telling me about how important the church is and what, what comes out of us and we've got everything we need in the church. No need to get out of the church to find anything. We have everything in the church. Amen. And it's good God, but listen here. It says, The Lord shall send his rod of strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And in the beauties. In the beauties. You know what beauties is? It says, Beauties, a combination of qualities such as a shape, color, or form, in the beauties of this. But then you go, and it says, of holiness. It's going to be the beauties. It's going to be the combination of qualities, such as shape, color, and form, out of the holiness. The beauties of holiness is how it's going to yes. be brought out. It ain't going to be brought out any other way. Or it, it's got to go by holiness. These beauties that he has, it ain't talking about the glamour and the and the makeup and the earrings and the hair. It's going to be of the holiness of him, of the inside coming out of him. That's who he really is, and that's who we are with the church. We, we reach out that way of showing the inner of who he is, because God was manifested in the flesh, and who Jesus was is who God was. And he, they want no way around it. And who the church is is who Jesus is. And that's who we've got to be. It's Jesus, and it's just so, it just blesses my heart that we've got yes. such a purpose, that we've got such a purpose here, and we, we wake up and we say, Lord, what are they learning to do today? There's plenty to do today. Just walk out of your house. Yes. Just walk out of your house the same way as in holiness. Walk out of that. Walk amongst the people the same way in holiness. Don't change. Don't be, they just take and be holy. Be righteous before them and be who you are as the church, because that rod is coming out of you, and it's speaking out of you. Everything that you do whether you say a word or not somebody's getting something out of your lifestyle yes. somebody's getting something because it's coming out of you in the beauties of holiness yes. in the beauties
beauties of Christ yeah. and the beauties of Him and not something that you made up or something that you just thought up or something that you believe in. It's something that's true and it's out of the Word of God. It's not made up or a doctrine of men. It's something that you can have and hold dear to your heart and say, I'm helping somebody. I'm doing something for somebody. It's coming out of the true beautiness. It's coming out of my inner beautiness. Yes. And it's taking sin and out of wrong. It's sin and out showing the government that's upon his shoulders. It's showing the government that we're to live in. It's his government and who he is and it's coming out of us. Amen. Out of us is the church. Yes. Now, come on. He's a God that desires a people. And I'm so glad to be part of this. Yes. Bless with you all. With you. So glad to be part of this church. Yes. Of this Zion. That's a pouring out and is showing. But it don't seem like it affects much. It does. It does. There's a few still hungry. There's a few still wanting this. There's a few still wanting to know what the truth is. Yes. And what it's about. And if it does, and I told, I told them. I said, if the devil can just get one. If he can just get one. Me and Jason was talking last night. Said if he get, was talking about the snakes and how they handle the fire and all that. And I say, well, boys, is that of the Lord? I just ask questions. Is that of the Lord? Or could that be of the devil? The devil said, well, if I just get one. If I just get one, if they just handle one and it bites them and it kills them. I just got one and I played off and it's God's stuff doing this. Yeah. Is it just one? I, I mean, these things go through my mind. Because I want to be on the right track. Amen. I don't want to be on the wrong track. Amen. But the devil's just out to say he's out to seek and kill those. He is, and he sets his stuff up before them. And they got the choice whether to grab it and take it or lay it down. Uh -huh. And do it. If he can just get just one, he's happy. If he can get one out of a hundred, he's happy. He is. He wants those ones. That praise be to God this week and don't understand. Amen. But I ain't attempting the Lord my God. Amen. I ain't doing things. Come on. Praise be to God that attempt him. If it, if it was to be so, Jesus would have jumped straight off of it. He'd have jumped off the pinnacle on that day. But he didn't. He didn't jump off the pinnacle. He took he knows who he was and God, I don't have to prove, praise be to God, that who I am by tempting the Lord my God. Because right, in his word, I'm precious in his sight. I praise be to God. He loves me. He died for me. Even though I was in sin, He died for me. I don't have to do these things to show how powerful I am in God. Hey, I love Him. He's a good yeah. God. Amen. Thank you. But a rod with that beauty, sir. Combination of qualities such as shape, color, or form. That's who we are. The combination of those qualities, but it plainly says of holiness. That's what the beauty is going to be of holiness. It says, From thy womb of the morning thou hast the dew of thy use. And holiness is a life of holiness, total devotion to God. And a womb is a place of origination and development. If you, if you catch that there, it says, From the womb, from the original state, from where you first come from, that's it, it, as it says, of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy use. And a dew is a distant, early, or distinct, early warning. That is the dew. The dew of the morning. Everything, the dew. He already gives us a warning Come on. of what's coming. He already gives us these warnings and give us these things and told us to come out to be the beauty. Be the beauty of His holiness. To come out and he's given us a warning that it's to come, that it's to come. That's what I tell. We need to tell people if you start your kids out young, right? It's hard when they get older, Larry, and you have to take them, try to change them over, transform their mind. You can see how hard it is on 50 year old people when they're stuck in doctrine and to try to get them over to the truth of Jesus Christ. The only true doctrine. It's so hard. And praise be to God, and we're young. At the young, we learn from the beginning about this and we need to take and hold to it and teach it and spread it forth glory be to God that we can take and be an effect that we can be an effect yes on people but the church has a great anointing it's got a purpose and it's got a reason and they ain't none of us sitting in here this morning that ain't got the same power 
I'm telling you, if you're filled with the Holy Ghost, if you've got this power, if you've got it in your life, you can help someone. Amen. You can do something for somebody. Amen. You've Come got on. a power that's within you yeah. to overcome. You've got a power from the pouty spirit. You've got a power from the doubtful spirit. Come on. You've got a power Amen. from the old fearful spirit. Amen. You've got a power to get up in the morning and smile. You've got a power to walk through your day with your head up. You've got a power over that enemy Amen. that's Come speaking on. doubtful against you. Uh -huh. You've got a power against these things. If you just take and call upon the one, just like he preached last night, you just did a storm. Glory, hallelujah, that fed my soul last night. And I thank the Lord for it, but we've got the power that's within us. The kingdom's within us, Brother Larry. Yes, it's within us. Glory, yes. hallelujah. And we have all power in heaven and in earth. He's the same God that walked among us and said, yes. I have all power in heaven. Yeah. You're done. 
But the church has a standard. Amen. The church has a standard. Yes, Lord. The church has ways to conduct and the ways to be. And the Bible tells us how to do this. Amen. But we've got to have somebody. We've got to have people with hungry ears. Yes. I said, Lord, all these houses up down these valleys. <laughs> Nobody's ears is what they hear. Shake them, Lord. Yes, Lord. Shake them, Lord. Amen. Now, why don't people get sick of the devil? Sick of the devil and the way he treats what he does to them. The lies and the deceiving that he's doing these, this day and time right now. What he's doing, won't he get sick of the devil? And get in his sign. Get in his ship. The ships are sailing. Yes, it is. And the Holy Ghost is its wind. The ship is a sailing and it's a moving. And I'm glad to be on board. I'm glad to be on board this morning. Yes. With Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of my faith, the one who created me, knowed me in my mother's womb. He's the one. Yes. He's the one. The only one. But the church... Is Zion. Is Zion. The old ship of Zion. That's sailing. Like he said last night, nobody wants it no more. Nobody's wanting it anymore. But we want it. We want it. Yes, amen. And we got to keep going as the church. No matter if there's a hundred more come in or if there's two leaves. We amen. keep got to go on. No matter if there's two hundred come in and there's four leaves. Amen. It don't matter. We've got to keep going. When it comes down, if it just comes down to one, we still got to keep going. Amen. Still got to keep going. Amen. It's important. It's important. It's the most important thing. It just ain't something that's barely important. It's the most important thing in your life. The Holy Ghost is the most important thing in your life to receive. Without, your, without His Spirit, you're none of His. Yes, amen. That's the most important thing in your life. If you ain't got the Holy Ghost, and you know people confess they ain't got it yet, and they still ain't at the altar, they still ain't the, the calling out, are you in your bathroom, are you up on the hill, where are you at trying to seek for this Come on. that you say you want so bad, Come on. where are you at with it, why Come ain't on. it happening, what's going on? Boy, right. when I was seeking, I was crying out. Amen. Come I was on. saying, Lord, fix in me what needs fixed. Help me, Lord Jesus. I want it, Lord God. I want more. I want more. I want more. And I still do that. Still do it. The Lord said, Lord, whatever's for me, I want it. Amen. Help Come me, on. Lord, clean out my house. Help me, Lord, keep shining in that house. I don't want a spider to make a home in my house. I don't want nothing to make a home in my house. Come on. I want to be cleaned up, Lord, by your righteousness. I want to be cleaned up in you, Lord. What do you mean? i got to do something to get this. He's got to have a dwelling place. Amen. He said, make me a sanctuary. Make me a sanctuary. When he come to children of Israel, he said, make me a sanctuary that I can dwell in. He wants to dwell in here. Yes. He does, but he don't want no prayer. He don't want the roof leaking. He wants your roof fixed. He don't want, praise be to God, he don't want these things and the unclean things. If you quit touching those things, and I'll receive you. Quit looking upon those things. I'll receive you. Quit doing these yes. things. And it'll happen, glory, hallelujah. Don't give up. <clears throat> and don't get at ease. Man. That's the problem. That's the problem. Now hear one preacher get up and pound on it. The next preacher get up and say, oh, you'll get it in time, and then that's what they're counting on is time. Yeah. You might not have the time. Amen. Quit counting on the time that you ain't got. Amen. Quit counting on the time that's a, that, that ain't yours. You can't, hey, you can't reach out and grab the next 20 years Amen. and say, I've got this life. Come on. I can't reach out and grab tomorrow and say, I've got tomorrow. Mm. That ain't mine. He's a hope. He's a hope. And it ain't mine. I can't take something that's not given to me yet. He said it's sufficient for today. Grace is sufficient for today. Don't be a dragon tomorrow in it. Amen. But I love the Lord. And I love what He's done to me. I love what He's done for me. Yes. If we ain't in love with Him, we need to fall in love with Him. Amen. Who is Him? He's the Word. 
He is the Word. He's the Word made flesh and blood among us. He's the Word. And we better take and get it in us. When we're taking and reading of this, we say, Lord Jesus, this is you. Come on. When you read him, do you see him? Come on. Do you know him? Do you feel him? Do you cry when you go through it? Does it pierce your heart when you read about it? How he suffered and how he died. Does it make you cry? Does it take and break your heart? And make you smile all at the same time? That's what the word will do. Yes. It'll break your heart. You'll read the things that happened to our Savior. And you can take and cry for him. And then you can say thank you. And smile because it wasn't you walking up Golgotha's hill. It wasn't you that was taking me and beating. It wasn't you even though you deserved it. And I deserved it. It wasn't me. Did I thank you, Lord God? It wasn't me. I can yes. go now, Lord, and put forth your gospel. And teach and preach and let people know what you have done to make me free and make me in liberty. And this thing, I love him. He's a good God. But can we do we really get sincere with God and break down and say, Lord, <laughs> make out of me who you want me to be. And we still got too much of us that we got to deal with first. Bless you. I got to get us out of the way and say, Lord, I want you in me. I want you to make me who I need to be. Lord God, I love him. He's a good God, church. But if anybody's going to get anywhere, it's going to be through the church. Mm -hmm. It is. It's going to be through the church. Mm -hmm. I might just be preaching to the choir this morning, but that's all right. The choir needs it too. Amen. That's right. The Amen. church yeah. needs it. church Amen. needs to know they're important. Right. And the devil says you can't. God says you will. You need to know you're important. You're the apple of his eye. That He loves you. That what He's doing for you right now today. Every breath that you take, He's taking and doing it. Every breath, every heartbeat, He's doing it. Everything that He's doing, He's doing it for you. Yes. He's already done it. You're going to have a good day. You're going to have a good day. But don't forget about Him. When you rattle in the pans, don't forget about Him. Thank you, Lord, for this pan. Thank you, Lord, for this oil. Thank you, Lord, for this meal. Thank you, Lord, for this flower. Thank you, Lord, if you whatever you peel in any bill, thank you, Lord, for this tool. Thank you, Lord, for the strength to pull it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that I can provide and do for my family. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, don't let your workplace be a drag to you. Take and find God in it. Find God in it. I'm telling you, say, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this payday that I received. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He's a praise. That's praise yes. that He deserves and that He desires. Praise. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Everybody's just wanting to get through the day. You can with Jesus. Amen. You can with Jesus. Amen. Lock up with Him in the mornings. Amen. Lock up with Him some word. Just so I'm telling you, lock up with Him. I woke up the other morning fighting with the day of one town. You come out swinging out of the bed. You say, oh, Lord God, what did he, he tries to get you in your dreams. He tries to get you when you sleep. And I got up and fighting with the devil. What did I do? Did I take? No, I got on my knees. I couldn't handle it for myself. I got on my knees. And I fought with the devil. And praise be to God. And when, when we take and give ourselves, he said, give yourselves. Give it to him. He said, the devil, resist the devil. He'll flee from you. He'll flee from me. And when I went to call out upon my God, and I called out upon His name Jesus, the devil flee. The devil went away. The devil quit aggravating. He quit punching. And quit doing. Was it with pain? Was it with this? No, it was right up here. A fight going on right up here as soon as I woke up. Amen. That I had to get rid of, get it out of my mind. And get it out of my mind because my peace was gone. I'm telling you, He tried to take my peace right that fast. But I got her. Praise me that it didn't take long. You know what I could have done? I could have got up and chose just to go in there and sit on the couch. I could have chose just to go in there and sit. But no, you got to go to the Master. you got to go to the one that can handle these things and do these things for you. Don't let the devil have your day. Don't let him have that little place in your house. He's going to stand up and he'll kill you. He'll destroy you. you got to go ahead and say, Lord, I can't handle it. Admit it. 
even though I've been in church for years, but admit it. Say, Lord, I'm weak without you. I ain't right. strong without the glory. i got to have you, Jesus. Just go ahead and give it to Him. And say, Lord, I, they need me out there. It ain't just about me. They need me yes. out there. And the devil ain't taking nothing from me. I'll fight with you till the day that I die. But I'm going home in glory, and I'm going to help those that I can help on this way. He ain't getting nothing from my house. He owns nothing in my house. Christian. Look up born again. 
Looked up each time. He told us to be the one they couldn't be contentious again because they couldn't, when we walked off, they couldn't say nothing against us, Brother Larry. That was our conversation. That's what we need to be. That's who we need to be is in Him and in, in Him only and Him in us. Him in us. All, only one that needs Jesus. Amen. How many more do we need? We don't need no more. Amen. All we need is Jesus. All we need is Jesus. And you know what? He's going to carry on. He's going to carry on in us. Keep it carrying on. We've got children coming up right here that can carry on this name of Jesus. Keep it going. And compassion. The compassion that Jesus gave. When he gave compassion, you know what he was doing? When he had compassion on the multitude, what did he do? He healed them. Compassion. Compassion just wasn't with words and with tongue. He did it with deeds. He did it with D when he had compassion. When you have compassion on somebody, you reach out and do something for them. That's compassion. That's what Jesus done. And praise be to God. And what a reward. What a reward. You're working for rewards. I believe I'm the Bible tells me that rewards is going to be just by our works. These things that's going to happen. The works that we do. As, a, as we got to have. We preached here about works. And what works is to us. It's got to be done. It's going to be done in this body that we're in. Amen. Works matters. Works matters. I love him this morning. He's a good God. But we're the church. We're the church. I'm talking about, I know, you know when you go out to places and everybody claims to be the church. And you get everybody into the body. In there. Standing in, just say you're standing in a circle where you're standing. And then you, I think about the wheat and the tares. And the servants, is, the servants can look out and see the tares holding hands with the wheat, yeah. holding hands. And you say, Lord, why can't we? Just go ahead and pluck it up. It ain't got no place. That's his. That's his. But you know what the devil wants to do with that? He wants to keep you focused on that tire. Mm -hmm. yeah. He wants to keep you focused and your eyes on that tire. Yeah. He'll take you plumb out of the service. He'll take you plumb out of your joy. Yeah. In that service, what you could have received out of that service because you was worried about that tire that you've seen over there. Yeah. That's what he already told you in the Word they're going to be there. Mm -hmm. The tires is going to be in every, every, every service that we go in somewhere. The tires is going to be there. They're even going to come in here and sit down. <laughs> Tires is going to be there. Lord, keep my mind upon you, but be wise. Be wise as a servant, harmless as a dove. Be wise. Don't let the devil steal your joy by keeping your eyes on that tire. Keeping your eyes on that tire. That tire, what's the tire doing? He's up there praising. He's up there praising. The tire's up there putting on. He's up there mimicking. Amen. Doing what everybody else is doing. That's right. Come He's on. He's doing all these things. It's done that his deeds are done in darkness. In place he is, what's he try to do? He tries to draw one out. Mm -hmm. He tries to get one over to the side and talk to him. He's good. He has what he's prepared to do. He's going to draw them out. Get them over to the side and talk to him. Mm -hmm. Whisper a little bit of different doctrine in their ear. And let them know when they're after church sitting there standing there talking to them, just go over and if you know they're tire, you blend in. Go over and say, how you doing? Well, I'm going to be late getting hot. It's all right. You're plucking the weed up. You know what I mean? Amen. Uh, you don't have to say it like that, but just say it. Uh, right. Yeah. I'm going to join you in a conversation here. Uh -huh. say, I'm going to help. I'm expressing if you know one of your weeks just not as tall as you are yet. Come right. on. Put your arm around them. That's right. Turn around. So you, so you, so you see these tender little fruits coming off as you ain't getting them. Yeah. You ain't getting them. Because you can reach over and bust the tires. You know what it is? It's a deadly, it's like a powder. Yeah. You right. reach over and bust them. And what, you can breathe it or anything and it'll hurt you. It hurts you. It will. It'll it make deadly upon them. But just take them. Just blend in. But if, it's, but if it starts interfering with the services, you'll focus upon them all service. They ain't going to do nothing in here. Uh -huh. They ain't going to do nothing in here. They can't. They can't do nothing. They can't. Why? There's too many weeds. Too many weeds. Too many servants. There's a few over the years rose up. 
You know what happened? The men of the house got them by their arms and laid them out. Laid them out. And that's, that's the way it's dealt with. When they rise up, what happened with the devil when he rose up? He got casted out. Amen. He got casted out. Was there anything there? No, I believe that's in order. I believe that's in order. People just want to blend me. And on that day, we're standing in line. He's going to separate. Amen. If you go by the the separation date is there about the garner when he takes it all in the barn. I kind of go to, Lord, the separation's coming now. It's coming now. Amen. The chaff's being blowed off. Mm-hmm. They, they're loose from their stalk. Come on. The chaff's being blowed off. Come on. He's just waiting to hit you in the garden. When he comes, I'm telling you, he's just waiting to come gather his, put them in the barn, mm-hmm. gather them in the garden, his people. And those that's not, didn't allow this wind, this Holy Ghost wind, to to make them useful for the master, to make them in a place where they need to be. Not to separate, there's somebody going to hate it. Amen. And there's somebody going to hate it. And to rightly divide the word, this has got to clean us up. Amen. The Come word's on. got to sanctify us. Make us who we need to be. Come on. So when this separation, this separation times are happening, and you start thinking about it, the judgment that starts at the house of God. Who's that judgment for? At the house of God. Right here. Come on. Right here. There's a wrath going to come upon people. That's not our wrath. We ain't going to see it, touch it, or feel it. I ain't talking about tribulations. Mm. I'm talking about a wrath. That we ain't going to be no part of. We're going to be like the children of Israel. When all the pestilences and everything come upon them, they were safe and they was there. They was there. Mm-hmm. But they wasn't Jesus. having to come upon them. We're going to be like the children when they took, when we got the blood, applied to the Lord. Amen. So he's going to kill all the firstborn. We're going to keep all of ours. Amen. Why? Because of that. There's a wrath come upon these people of the earth, coming upon the people of the world. We ain't going to have a part of it. We ain't going to have it. We were to go through some tribulations, go through some trials, go through some things with Jesus. <clears throat> He's the same. Yes, you've been hearing all the preaching on the radios about the thousand years of rain when He comes, and then the people that's going to get saved afterwards, and all this and that, and you just, Lord God, we've got three chances. This side, three chances. I can't find. Amen. Church has got to stay ready. Amen. The church has got to stay ready. Amen. Those that draw back, ain't a going. Amen. Those that draw back, ain't a going. Amen. Those that never entered in, ain't a going. Amen. I don't care how old, 50, 60, how old, you ain't a going. You draw, don't be drawn back. He ain't got no pleasure in you. He ain't got no pleasure in you. You better get steadfast Amen. on this rock. You know what I got to see the other day, Brother Tavy? I was standing there in the creek, staying cool what time he was working with that excavator. And I looked over, and where a rock had busted off and fell in a creek, there was tree roots <laughs> going in that rock. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I said, Lord, he came. <laughs> I'll tell you right down in there, it was just curved, just right back and forth. Just, oh, it was so, you could just look at it. You could almost see a smile on a tree's face. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Come on. I'm in the rock, but it was. It was just embedded in that rock where it busted off. I was like, oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He knows what to see and know. Yes, he does. In a time, pray be the Every Lord. Time. I just needed that. <laughs> Every time. I just needed that. Yes. I won't be rooted grounded in this rock. Called Jesus. Rooted grounded in his word. Don't want to move. Don't want to move. 
I want to be done with the sliding around, Brother Larry. Amen. A lot of people sliding around. I want to be done with the sliding around. Amen. <coughs> be in that rock. Be in it. And what is that rock? It's right here. Yes. Be in it. Be in it. If people just get their mind focused on who he is, mm -hmm. he's right here. Yes, he is. He's right here. I got to go by this. I got to go by it. I do. And I don't need to look around and say it ain't fair either. They don't have to go by. I do. Amen. Amen. And if they're going to come in, they got to go by. Come on, brother. That's, that's the way it is. Yes. Same way for our house. You're going to live here, you're going to go by our rules. Yep. You're going to go by the regulations of this house. And that's all Jesus said. You're going to live here, <laughs> you got to go by this. This is my rule book. This is my. This is what I have. I know they preach against rules. I know, but there's rules in God's in God's life. Man, there's things you can't do and can do. And what is that? That's a rule. That's a rule. You got. You can only do it this way. And that's the way you need. And if you get out of that rule, you get out of His way. You do. And I won't be in His way. But the, that, there's so much in the New Testament that you still find yourself slacking on. Man, you do. You still find yourself slacking. And you got acknowledgement that it's there. But you just get in the way of who's around. Who is. And we got to be with people who live out there. We're in it, but we're not of it. So, and I just pray, Lord, don't let them have a let them have a, uh, what do you call it, an influence on me. I don't want no influence. Here's the only influence I need. It's the only influence I need is Jesus and what he can do and what he is going to do. He's a good God. But the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through the kings and the babies of his wrath. The Lord at thy right hand. There's somebody, I think it was in a song last night about you put it in like a hand in a glove. And then force what needed to be done. And then where did he stay? That glove's still on today. That glove's still on. That spirit's still in that flesh. And he's still Jesus. He didn't change. And he's sitting over power. Saying, where's my people? He's got his people. He just knows that there's a lot more. There's a lot more to come into this people. Really would. I love him. I'm done breaking his heart. I'm telling him. I don't want to see him. I don't, I don't want to break his heart. I don't want to see him cry. I want him to look and say, good and faithful servant. When I lay down at night, I want to be able to go through and I don't know how many people does it. But you just lay there and when it's all calmed down, just review through the day. Conversations, things that were said and what was done. How many times you lay there and say, I shouldn't have said that? I shouldn't have done that. And I was at Pick Pack the other day, and the girls up there, and they got this $5 limit on the debit card. I went up there, and it's $4.80 something. She said, she said, you all, she said, you got Get something else that's $5 limit. I said, man, y'all fry me. Like that, and just turn around, got a tea out of the thing, and set it up there. I know that's a tea that I. It's been a long time. But uh, I couldn't say nothing else because it was a tea. And uh, I left there and got going down the road, and at the same time, I was there, and there was a, another man there. I was going down the road. I said, I shouldn't have said that. You know, that's something you say all the time. I shouldn't have said it right there. I shouldn't have did it. Shouldn't have. And then you, you know, when you get calmed down, you just shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. So we do things that we don't. The Lord shakes his head and he lets you know he's shaking his head. He gets you in a truck. We're in a car or we're at home. He says, I'm shaking my head at you. You know better. You wasn't raised like that. You wasn't raised like that. I mean, it breaks your heart. 
Jim, it's tough, preacher, watching everything you say. Let's pray it out. Let's pray it out. You know, if you've got a gas tank with drugs in it, you just don't keep changing the filter. You take the gas tank off. You get something in there, we take rocks. You just start banging it around. Break all that loose on the inside. Get it all out. Get it all out. Then you don't have to worry about the filter anymore. <laughs> it's a very long time before you have to change that filter on the truck anymore. You got all the junk out. Got all the junk. But people keep fighting with that filter. Then you know what some people does? Done it myself. They'll take that filter off and they'll poke a screwdriver plumb through it. Think about it. They just let all the garbage through. And what's it do? It messes up the whole carburetor, the whole fuel injection system, and then what happens? Right. Nothing runs. Nothing runs. People are punching a hole plumb through things. Saying it don't matter. Just letting anything out. Anything go through. <coughs> Instead of going to the root of the problem, saying it's me, Lord. That's right. It's me. I just looked at him this morning. I just washed his face off that water. She let me do it. It's me. I love him. He's a good God. Church, you've got a purpose. We've got a purpose. You may be few in number here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Keep on doing what God is doing, let the devil destroy. Seriously. Well, you know what the devil wants? He wants to keep up. He wants to pour up. He wants to separate. He wants to get away with it. The Lord don't want that. He gets voices. He gets the way to talk. He gets the word to go by. What happens in our lives that we can stay together? We can. We can. Lord, give us a love. It's a good job. We can defeat that old devil. We can defeat him if we submit ourselves unto God. We can defeat him, but we got to first submit ourselves unto God. We can have I love him. I woke up this morning excited about the church. I laid down last night excited about the church. I needed that message last night. I did. I like it. He's the master of the wind. Give everything that I need. The storm comes, it's just a storm. The master's on board. He's there. What are we going to do with him? What are we going to do with Jesus? He's there in your life. Our moon. What are you going to do with it? That's the question you got to ask every morning. What am I going to do with Jesus today? I hope you say everything in my power. Everything that in my life I'm going to do with Jesus. And that's what he's pleased with. Amen. Please with I love him. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Something you can mix this for or whatever. Working on it. Don't get easy with it. Oh, God, I pray it pounds on you more and more every day. Get rid of it or whatever it is. I pray that it just, the Lord's gone now you lie. The Lord's gone. The Lord ain't got you captive no more. People said you captive in the wrong jail. I'll be in prison with Jesus. I don't want to be in a jail with the devil. The county jail and there's a prison. County jails. A lot of people say it's rougher than the prison. I've heard them talk about it. Luxuries in that prison, they say. Anybody can make it in that prison. I don't want to be in Jesus' prison. I can make it in that prison. I can make it. I can make it. But anybody else got anything this morning?